Well, I guess the people just, they're pulling out all the stops, you know. Now they're going to try to overturn abortion. The people are not warring or not taking their bait, I guess. And they've tried everything. Don't fall for this one either. I don't know if they will actually limit abortion or, or do away with it or whatever. I mean, to my knowledge, this if this thing were to pass, it would still turn it over to the states. And not all 50 states are going to outlaw abortion immediately or anything like that. So, I mean, it may become more difficult, but I don't think it would be impossible. My view... It is a tough, I mean, this is a tough subject. The abortion subject's a tough one. In all honesty, I don't feel it should have ever been legalized in the first place. It, it is no coincidence that abortion was legalized right when star seeds started coming in here in mass, right around the same time when the first star seeds started appearing, they've legalized abortion. I feel that it's playing God. It's you know, yes, it can be very easy to have a child, but it also can be difficult. Um, you know, Max's husband and I got pregnant with my first child in like two months, but then it was seven years before we had another one. I mean, these kids come through when, when they're meant to. And I've had some interesting experiences. Uh, my mother tried to make me have an abortion when I was 23, and I stayed up all night the night before. I had had she made an appointment with the abortion clinic while well, I made an appointment with an OBGYN the same day. And, you know, OBGYN, I'm not going to get rid of the child. And so, you know, it's like I'm bargaining with the universe. Like, you know, I can't, I can't have an abortion. But at the same time, I don't know that I can do this alone or with her being so negative about it for the next for the rest of the child's life. I just don't know that I can do that. And so anyways, um, I choose to go to the OBGYN. She was pissed, but she took me. And there was a perfectly formed sack, but no baby. And anyways, um, but I was actually destined to have a baby, I think because my grandpa was dying. And the only thing that I was really scared of in my whole life were tornadoes, gray aliens, and my grandpa dying. And anyways, um, I got pregnant with my son six months later, but you know that my grandpa spent six months in hospice and he lapsed into his final coma an hour after my son was born. And had I not made that timeline shift or whatever with the universe. I don't know. I don't know what happened, but I'm, I'm glad that everything worked out how it did. So, I mean, I was faced with the choice and, and I couldn't, I, I couldn't do it. And I didn't find out that I was pregnant with my youngest child that I unexpectedly got pregnant with at 36 until I was five months pregnant. You know, it's too late to do an abortion. I may have considered it with her, but I was meant to have her. I mean, I just, I just don't feel it's our place, you know. However, however, it is legal. The choice is there. So, whereas it's not morally right for me, I don't know that it's right to take it away now that people are so accustomed to it and they've been so desensitized and they don't even see it as murder and et cetera, et cetera. So, I don't know the answer. I mean, I, I think limiting it might not be a bad idea. I mean, maybe send it to the States and... and get it to where, you know, it is a little bit more difficult. I've known women, multiple women, that use it as birth control, and that's not okay. And then there are so many women that do it and then have such regret and remorse afterwards, and they never get over it, and they always wonder what if. And I just, I just, you know, it's a tough subject. I mean, I wish it would have never been legalized so that it was not a subject that we even had to discuss. Um, 
I mean, I don't know. Is there some way to transitionally take it away? Like where chill people born after the year 2025 can't have an abortion? I, I don't know. You know, I don't know what the answer is. But I mean, the only surefire way to prevent pregnancy is not to have sex. And so people need to really, really realize that if you're, if you're going to do that with somebody, that's a possibility. And if you're absolutely not ready to have a baby, then you can't have sex. I mean, that's what it's for. That's, that's the purpose of sex. <sighs> it's, it's a tough You've subject. got the rape argument, but if you actually look into rape statistics, it's like less than 1% of rapes result in pregnancy. It's a terrible situation if that happened, but still doesn't mean that it's not destined. And if you see people that have made the choice to either give their baby up for adoption or keep the baby that they've had via rape, neither the child nor the parent typically regrets it. So. There's that. But I totally hate to see division on it. I, I don't think it, the right should just be stripped away. Absolutely not. The right to choose is there. And, you know, it, if it's eliminated, it needs to be done in some kind of step-down process. I don't know. Or, or just not across the board, limit, limit access. But not make it to the point where, you know, you have to go back to a back alley. Just thought I'd share. Have a good day.